We are joined by Chris Anderson, Executive Director of the American Red Cross North Alabama Chapter, and Tanisha Smith. And Tanisha, we're going to get to you in just a moment. You have a very important story to share. But first, Chris, I want to ask you about um, two blood drives you have coming up, or a couple of them, in fact, that are they're pretty important. Yeah, well, it's really incredible. We actually have one blood drive that's coming up. It's um, Alabama A&M and Oakwood University have joined, and they're doing a sickle cell fighter blood drive, really, to promote awareness and, and let people in the community know about this important, important initiative. When is that coming out? It's going to be March 8th, so that's tomorrow okay. from noon until 4. All right, and Tanisia, I know you would love to see a lot of people out there because for you, this is extremely personal. Tell us about your journey with sickle cell. Well, I was diagnosed at two months old, and so it's been multiple hospital stays and multiple transfusions. And now I have to go to Birmingham Kirkland Clinic to receive monthly blood transfusions. And American Red Cross has been great finding matches and um, blood for me because it takes three to four days to find a match for me because of my antibodies. So blood donations are very important for me. You are determined to uh, to to live here and live as full fully as you can for as long as you can. You said you you have children, yes. you're 40 years old. Life expectancy for sickle cell is not what it should be. No, but with um, new medicine, new treatments, uh, we're living longer, and I thank God for that. Uh, it's been a blessing. I've been going, receiving monthly blood uh, transfusions now, and I've been out of the hospital for two and a half years. So I used to have monthly hospital stays, but now with the blood donations, uh, it's been great for my life and the quality of life because I receive a monthly. I think a lot of people uh, don't know very much about sickle cell, and I'm sure you never intended to be an advocate, but you've kind of had to become a little bit of one. What would you tell people about this and its impact on a person? Oh, it. Um well, I could start with my brother. He um, passed away at 16. So f for me, after his death, I became an advocate even more because I wanted to raise awareness for sickle cell. I also have uh, something kind of go off script, but I have a thing called Paint the Town Red in Hillsborough every year because we lived in Hillsborough, Alabama, and his friends and our family that come out support. I have blood donations there. Um, we normally have a festival singing, everything just to raise awareness. The Sickle Cell Foundation is great support system too if people need to get involved. The North Alabama Sickle Cell Foundation here in Huntsville is a great platform that you can get in touch with and also find find out about events too that's going on if you need to get tested or anything have questions or need that support group they're there and Chris blood drives like the one you have going on tomorrow this is so important because I was under the misconception Tanisia needs blood yes. say I have the same blood type that I could donate and it could help her but it would not mm -hmm. no we actually um, you know the really interesting thing and I think you said that so eloquently um, you know our blood is so much more than just the basic blood types and it goes down to antibodies and antigens and the best blood to treat um, sickle cell and the transfusions is going to be blood from another African-American that is the best blood and that's why it is so critically important that we spread awareness that we let people know um, and that we encourage other groups and organizations that can have a blood drive and host a blood drive to fight sickle cell that they step up and help us I I would hate to think about you not having the blood yes. when you need it yeah we always want the blood to be there for every patient who needs it mm -hmm. um, so if you have the opportunity to take part in this we'll have details for you posted on whnt.com and other ways that you can get involved because we know that the blood supply across the board is extremely short much shorter uh, than it uh, has been in in a very very long time just look for this story under noon interviews on whnt.com